So welcome to another video from the Big Jimny series. In this one we're going to look at how to fit the armrest into a Gen 4 Jimny. The armrests I sell uh, come in a complete kit. Um, they are available in both uh, PVC or faux leather and also in fabric finishes um, to match the car. In the kit you get an armrest itself. This will come set up um, with the bracket on the side for your car, either left-hand drive or right-hand drive. You get a fitting kit. Um, this will vary from vehicle to vehicle. Um, you will be sent the correct fitting kit. We're going to show you it on a Gen 4, but these are universal armrests across the Suzuki range and I do a different fitting kit for different cars. So uh, there'll be some minor variations of what you do for your own car based on the fitting kit. And a set of generic instructions. Um, these are generic, they don't specifically deal with the car that uh, you may be installing, but the principle across all the cars is exactly the same. So if you want one of these kits, they're uh, advertised up here on the Big Jimny site and as I say they are actually available across the Suzuki range and some other cars as well so if you have a car that needs an armrest that doesn't come with one then drop me a line and I will look at getting you the right bracketry, uh, the different bracket kits to fit uh, this armrest into your car. The armrests themselves um, are um, uh, come as a storage box variant like this one. Um, I can also get thinner ones that just fit on the arms of the car itself and there's also a QI charger version of this uh, so that you can charge up your mobile phones if you've got that inductive charging thing. Anyway, they claim that it's a very fast installation process so let's see how it goes. So, the first thing you have to do is pull the the seat cover down off the uh, fittings there it just pulls down and then you have a zip uh, to unzip the seat cover itself just fiddle this around the And as you can see, this then reveals the complete seat mechanism. Um, and uh, this is where we want to get into here. So a quick change in seating position. So with the zip undone, this pull back here, we then have access to the seat frame and the mounting points here. This is where the mounting kit is going to go. It just is going to screw straight into these points here. So in the kit is a bracket, a mounting bracket um, with two holes in it and the mounting pillar. The mounting pillar goes to the front of the car and as you can see this slides in and loops around and fits over the holes there and then we simply have some uh, M10 uh, nuts and bolts uh, to screw through and uh, fix the uh, bracket in place. So now with the uh, bracket in place, we pull the foam back over, ready to make a 
hole in the foam for the bracket to fit through. So in the kit is this handy knife uh, with which to uh, cut away the foam. Now we're going to restore um, all the covers right back to the, the proper position and when I say restore you it is essential that you get all of the seat cover back to where you want it um, before you do it at the next stage which is the cutting of the seat fabric itself and you don't want to get that bit wrong. Now I have to attach this plastic strip back into the uh, looped back base of the seat uh, which will be messing about a bit further um, but you can understand the principle that this piece of plastic here has to loop back into the plastic uh, loop underneath there uh, which will not be very clear on the camera unfortunately. Now here comes the scary bit. We're now going to cut the fabric of our lovely seat <laughs> and our new car. Um, so it's essential that you get this right. Locate the end of the uh, armrest fixture in the seat and you're going to cut inside the radius here. Okay. So now you can see that you can push back the fabric uh, neatly around the armrest mount and then you get the um, little plastic decorative ring and place that on like that. So now to fit the armrest there's a little tiny allen key, allen grub screw there that will need just pulling back a little bit. Take the armrest and in the fully vertical position insert it into the mount and then tighten up uh, the allen key yeah, the grub screw uh, to secure the armrest and there uh, we now have it fitted to the car the next thing to obviously do is adjust it to your own particular taste and settings so here it is fitted, this is the vinyl version. As you can see it uh, opens and shuts, folds away and uh, on the adjustment there uh, adjusts up and down in position. For completeness we also fitted the uh, fabric one. Uh, to our car so you can see the difference between the two. So the armrest is now installed, it didn't take too long. Um, the manufacturer says 10 to 15 minutes while I messed around with my camera and probably took about 30 minutes in total. The cutting of the foam at the front of the uh, mount was the slowest part, it's quite a slow thing to cut uh, but after that it was very straightforward. I hope you enjoy your new armrest.